Peter Sands sought his brother Sir Handel and stopped to talk to him. Hey, Sir Handel. Very long train you have. It sure is. Could you help me take it? Hmm. Sure I can. What can I do without my brother? First thing I gotta do is get these passengers to the station. All right. Well, be back. I will. Peter Sam's passenger train got so hard to pull when he went up the bridge. But Peter Sam managed to make it up the bridge. Peter Sam could see Lady at the distance. Peter Sam slid down the bridge. He made sure that his brakes was on. Lady waited patiently as Peter Sam got the passengers to the station. Made it at last! And on time too! Later the passengers soon got on board Lady's train and Lady set off. Well, gotta go help Sir Handel. I don't want him to be so worried about me. Peter Sam put his coaches on the other line. Then he set off to help Sir Handel. When Peter Sam got back, he could see that Sir Handel was struggling to get his train up the bridge. Sir Handel pulled and pulled and pulled, but it was no use. Hey Sir Handel, need some help up there? Oh yes, I do. So you have finally came back. And a good thing too, looks like your train is too heavy to get up that bridge. Tell me about it. I need a back engine for this train if I'm gonna get this to the station on time. No worries about it. You just got a back engine right here. And Peter Sam coupled on to the back of the train. Together, Sir Handel pulled, and Peter Sam pushed. And with all their might, Sir Handel and Peter Sam pulled and pushed the train together up the bridge. And they carefully went down. Huh, all right. We have done it. Sir Topham Hat will be definitely be proud of us for this. And indeed I am. Sir Handel, from now on, I'm just gonna let you take less than five freight cars. Oh yes, sir. Less than five freight cars won't be that hard. And indeed, it was. And Sir Handel was able to take it up the bridge by himself. Scarloy was even surprised that Peter Sam and Sir Handel were both brothers. But Scarloy wasn't even sure though because Peter Sam and Sir Handel both have different funnels and different wheels, and they also have different colors. So, guys, 
What makes you two brothers? Well, first of all, we're not even twins. It's true. I'm the older brother and Peter Sam is the youngest. Is that the whole reason why the both of you each have a two-word name? Oh, and because why I have two words, saying Sir Handel? Well, I actually have one word. Well, used to. And so did I. I used to have just one word, instead of two. It was until our names were changed. My name used to be Stuart, and now my name is changed to Peter Sam. My name used to be Falcon, and then it was changed to Sir Handel. Don't you like your old names better than your new ones? Hmm, no. I actually like my new name better. And so do I. I actually like it better than my old one. Then Sir Topham Hat came. Hello, Scarlowy. Got to see you in your very long sleep. Oh, yeah. It was very, very long that I found myself very hard to wake up. Well, now that you're awake, you can help Peter Sam with the passengers. Peter Sam's train is really heavy, so you'll have to be a back engine for him. Yes, sir. Being a back engine is nothing to it. And Peter Sam and Scarloe set off to get the coaches. James and Stepney arrived to get the milk and the oil. Hey, Sir Handel, got the oil? Yep, got it right here. So it means the milk must be for Stepney. The milk definitely is for me to pick up. Later, the two engines were soon coupled onto their trains. Harold the helicopter arrived to pick up Sir Topham Hat. Stepney took the milk train to the dairy, while James took his train to the oil depot. Sir Topham Hat climbed on board Harold, and Harold took Sir Topham Hat home. Well, another job complete. Gotta get to the sheds now. Meanwhile, Peter Sam and Scarloe both found some coaches. Peter Sam was coupled on to the front, and Scarloe was coupled on to the back. And he soon set off to the station. Tens of passengers were dropped off by the buses. Those are a lot of passengers, and that's the whole reason that Sir Tom Hat wanted to make Scarloy the back engine. After picking up the passengers, Scarloy and Peter Sam set off to the station. Peter Sam found the train so heavier than before. Then, they came up to a bridge. Just as they got half the train up, Scarloe somehow broke down. Peter Sam found it very, very hard to pull the train. Ugh, what's going on? Scarloe, how come you're not pushing the train? I have broken down. Now there's no use to get the train up the hill now. Ah! Uh, now we'll never be able to get the passengers to the station on time. Luckily, Harold saw what happened and went off to tell Sir Totten Hatt.